Hi there folks, it's N16 here. I just like to run everyone through the new HUDs that I've made. I was going to just post a couple of screenshots but I figured that a video would be better at showing people the differences between them and how to install and how to configure them. Uh, what you're going to want to do of course is go and f actually get the HUD files. Uh, now, they're not cool but I've got a blog that I keep everything that I make on, I'll put a link in the description, but they'll be up here. But what you want to do, it's a better idea, is get them, get the hub from the uh, custom hub website. And the address will also be in the description, but you know, there's loads of HUDs on here. There's, what is it, 580 HUDs so far. But if you want to find my stuff, just click on Authors and then M16. And you know, all my HUDs are in here, the ones I've uploaded at least and you know the newest HUDs will be at the top. I haven't uploaded this one yet but it'll be um it'll be right here. So all you do is just click on download on it and then you know click save file and uh save it wherever you want it. I've got it on my desktop already so you know if you open it up you'll see there's quite a few files in it and this is because I had um originally wanted to just remake Sturmy's HUD because you know, whilst he was happy with it and it, it, you know, it was pretty popular, what he had originally asked me for was just a replica of the Quake 4 HUD. And, you know, I, whenever I made this, this original one, I didn't really know all that much about HUD making, so, you know, it was all pretty new to me. So, like, I did as best as I could. But, you know, I, w I always wanted to revisit it. And, you know, I let it slide. I didn't do it, but Toxic and Lincoln uh, have been asking me for a quite four style real gun zoom so you know that combined with it has spurred me into doing it so I got to work and I sat down and I, I made a remake as close as I could to the quite four HUD and the reason there's so many here are, are is because uh, I knew not everyone would want a nice out replica so um, I've made a few variations of the same HUD so yeah that's what all the different files are and you know if y if you don't know how to install a custom HUD just go to holy shit dot net um, I made a custom HUD install guide a while back and I posted that on there um, I'll put the link for that in the description too but yeah just, re just have a read through it but basically on Windows 7 all you do is go start computer uh, click on system then users your username click on app data which is a hidden folder so make sure you have hidden folders enabled uh, then local low and it's software quick live home base q3 and by default um, the ui folder is not here so if you don't already have one um, just make a folder called ui with nothing in it but yeah i've already got all my files in here obviously because you know i made them but is where the game loads the files from, loads the HUD file from. Um, so I'll load it up in game now and show you the differences between all the versions and their features. So yeah, this is what the HUD looks like in game. This version of the HUD is the closest replica I could make to the Quake 4 HUD. Um, I took screenshots of the actual Quake 4 HUD and made the measurements as close as possible. So it's pretty faithful. Um, unfortunately, I, ca I can't do any like smooth corners or anything like that, but um, it's as close as I can get it. Um, then, if I show you the other versions now, there's the slim version, which is this one. If I load it up, and um, it's just the same, but a little more playable. You know, the icons are shifted around to the side, and you know it takes up a little less screen screen real estate. Then I, I also made this version, the slimmest version, which uh, was because from a bit of feedback, uh, some players didn't think that um, the slim version took up little enough screen real estate, so I had to make a smaller version. But whenever I actually asked Dermy, he wanted a larger version than the slim one. So I had to make a fat version, which is this one because he's used to seeing like the bigger numbers from the other HUD so you know 
that's what version this one was. And then I also made another version with the um, with the values above the bars, and uh, I did this for both the slim version and the slimmest version. So that's what these two are. But uh, if I show you how the actual health bars work now, um, as you can see, you know, with 100, 100, it's full green, full solid green. But if I do a little bit of self damage, it will go down, and you can see that some transparency, you know, it's it's a bit transparent. And it gradually goes down, and below 80, it turns to gold, and then below 30. It goes to red, or 30 and below, sorry, I should say. And if you look at the armor, um, once I hit zero, then the actual numbers disappear. So, yeah. But if you. If I give mega health, you'll also see what it looks like whenever. Yeah, it's it's just another, another green on top of the. On top of the actual st normal stack green, but it'll just take down and it overlaps the other green. But you can easily change the colors. So if you want the stack to be like a blue or something like that, or if you don't like the gold, if you w if you want that to be say red or orange or you know a different blue or green or whatever, I I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, how to change the colors? It's very easy. But yeah, it just takes a second to edit in the file. And then the last things that I just sort of show you to do with the bars is uh. The ammo. Now there's two separate ammo bars. Um, some weapons go up to 25, and some go up to 150, like the lightning gun. So if you see on the twi on the 25 weapon, or 25 ammo weapons, sorry. Um, if I shoot it, it's, it's literally 25 bars, and each shot will take away one. But it's a problem with the lightning gun. So I've got another bar on top of that that goes from 26 to 150 and it'll just gradually go down like that there so it goes all the way down to 26 from, and then um, below that it just reaches the original bar and then below 5 it'll turn red but once again you can change the colour easily and then if I also show you that you can hide the little small timer on the left it was actually only put in so that Sturmy um, had a timer to look at on LAN because the draw item pickups message is disabled on LAN in competitions. And then a small downside with these bars is that whenever you have gauntlet out, there's the uh, the grey box is still shown, unfortunately. So in the README, I've uh, explained how to hide that, but it's a bit tedious. It involves adding um, some commands to each of your binds, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual in-game stuff, so I'll let that end that now. So yeah, I said I would show you how to um, easily edit the files. Um, if you open up the menu file for the one that you want to edit, like whichever one you actually want to use, say for example, if I, I use the slim one, um, if you right click and then you can open it with um, notepad but it, the tabbing is a uh, it's not perfect I made it tab size 9 and there's it, it looks pretty ugly it's just a big wall of text I would suggest getting something like uh, notepad plus plus which does syntax highlighting if you um, change the language to see like it looks nice and pretty that way and uh, it makes it a lot easier to see, you know, where things are. But yeah, if you want to change the uh, colors of the um, the bars and stuff, all you could do is change the down to so greater is less than thirty. Low is eighty and blue. Healthy is um, yeah, it's everything that's not the stack. So it's all the way up from a uh, hundred to well eighty to a hundred but then stacked overlaps it. And uh yeah, I've just got them as red for low, um, uh, gold for alright, green for healthy and then uh a, a brighter green overlapping the green. But yeah, you can change that easily. All it is it's 
the first number here is red and the second number is green and then the last number is blue so uh you know because it's because it's all one equals full and like zero equals none so full red no green no blue is red and there's that's pretty much all there is to that uh, if you want to move around the health and the armor you just change these lines i've included the default values uh, just in case you do fiddle with it but yeah that's all there really is to that um, like i said then in the readme i've included um, how to use the zoom which i uh, forgot to show you but i will include a screenshot of in the video now and then um yeah how to hide the mini timer all you do is put this line in your config and then um if you want to hide the weapon box whenever the gauntlet is out unfortunately it's a bit tedious um put, put this line in your config and then for each of your binds for each of your weapons you need to have it so that it's ch underscore hide weapon box zero so that you don't hide it and then on the gauntlet which is the one that you wanted to hide it on you put it on ch underscore hide weapon box one and uh yeah that's that's how you do that it's a bit tedious so that and i don't do it personally but yeah that's pretty much it if you need any help just uh continue and let us see or pretty much anyone will give you a hand with hods uh i'm m16 once again and i'm always in quick life in irc whenever i'm at home so give me a shout or post in the thread or leave a comment here and that's that